Hi everyone! So today's video is about five tricks uh, to shop clothes while transitioning. For anyone wondering what happened to my face, uh, I just had micro needling, so it's just on the top of my face because I have extralysis on the bottom. Uh, it's to reduce pores and uh, holes I had in my skin. So if you go up top, you can see I'm red here, here, here. Uh, but there it's just, it's just normal. So how to buy clothes while you're transitioning? Don't. <laughs> I'm joking. But please, please, please be careful. Money is sparse while transitioning, everything costs a lot, and you don't want to just spend all your money on things you won't wear. So be very, very cautious if you want to buy online, because buying online is fun, you see pictures, it looks good, but when you get it, it's not always that good. It happened to me one time, I mean, it's just one time, but I never received the package, and when I asked to be refunded, they just never did. So right now, mentally, you're a 12 year old. You are a 12 year old girl. And do you know why 12 years old don't have credit cards? Cause you are not smart. You buy on impulse and you'll buy just anything you see and you think, oh wow, that's pretty, I want it. And that's okay, but like I said, you don't have a lot of money and you have a lot of things to pay for and it's no use if you buy clothes you want to wear. So the clothes you buy at the beginning of your transition won't fit you. It just won't. I mean, sizes are different from man to woman, from brand to brand, and you don't know what what's your size. I mean, you've just changed and you're gonna change a lot again. So. While you're transitioning, your body changes, your size changes, you might lose, you might gain weight. So my first trick is to go in person. Uh, I've, tried, I've tried it both ways. I've joined a couple of pictures of outfits I bought online. Some look good, some look okay, but most of them just looks, just looks weird. So just go, go in person, ask for help, People are really nice and they're just, they're gonna help you with uh, what's on sale, what fits you, what looks good, and your sizes. So, and you can try it out and see for yourself if, if it looks good. I, I saw a huge difference uh, from the clothes I bought online, from the clothes I bought quickly, uh, just at the counter and just, oh, I gotta buy that real quick. And from things I really tried out and really thought about and just asked for help. If you're too shy to go in person, I know I was uh, for a long time, just just wait. There's no rush. Uh, if you're not gonna wear the clothes, then there's no rush. Mm. Online shopping is for experienced players only because it's hard. You have to know your size as well. You have to trust pictures or just read reviews. This dragon will eat your life and snort out of your bones, so just be careful. The second trick is to bring a friend. So you can bring one of your girlfriends. It's just easier because you have somebody with you, she can give you tricks, she can help you with sizes, she can tell you what looks good, what doesn't. She can even, I mean, it can look like you're just shopping with her. She can pay, you can pay her back later. So it's just a lot easier and a lot less stressful. I, I know it took me a couple times before I was able to go alone. And there's the emotional support that really helps. So just bring a friend. So my third trick is to just go to specialized shops. So I went to Raitman's uh, for pants because they have pants for tall women. Uh, I went to Pennington, which is a plus size uh, shop uh, not for clothes because i'm <laughs> i'm not plus size but uh, for shoes because as a trans woman i have uh, large feet so the shoes there fit me uh, it's a friend who suggested that and was like 
I was like, this is brilliant. Why didn't I think of this before? I was always so scared about buying shoes. I tried. Uh, I went to a couple shops and they just they didn't have my size. Uh, I'm uh, 10 in men, so I was like 11, 12 in women. But uh, what I have now is nine and a half, but wide. So it's, it fits. <laughs> also, when I'm talking about specialized shops, uh, this can be online, but you can buy gaps. I've joined pictures. Uh, there's two types. There's more the V, uh, V shape, and there's like boy shorts, but it really looks feminine. So if, you, if you're not able to talk, it took me maybe a few months before I was comfortable doing this. Uh, this can do quite a great job because it just contracts things a little. So I didn't film the fart part, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So my fifth and last trick is to find things that suits your body type well. So like I said, I have uh, narrow hips, I don't have a lot of boobs, so anything that just gives a V-shape will show my non-existent <laughs> cleavage. And there's a void there, it's just total emptiness. Uh, there's, like I said, the hips, so anything that just goes in uh, A-shape will look fine. Uh, jeans and pants that are high-waisted just gives the impression that it slims your waist and just gives a nice, nice little shape. Also, a great trick to emphasize boobs when you have small boobs is to buy just small silicone pads that you can put under your bra. So it looks like this. Uh, you just put it in your bra and push a little so it gives a nice little cleavage. So you can comment down below if you think this was helpful, if you have any suggestions, if you have any objections. I don't know. Just discussion down below. If you want, you can subscribe for more content. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will do a Q&A later, uh, but I need questions and for having questions people that are following me. So just go right there and I'm gonna do the Q&A when there's enough people to ask questions.